don't know where this is leading to. Ah, uh, wait, no, no, no. Should be, oh, maybe this way. internet it is eight o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel welcome here in Honduras um, I'm still trying to wake up a little bit Oof. Um, and I am going to look for breakfast because the place where I'm staying they don't do breakfast so I have to look for another place I have found a place of breakfast so we got eggs we got avocado this is uh, frijoles so those are beans and then we got platano and this is cheese and cream and a coffee oh and tortillas gracias yeah. <laughs> i'll quickly show you what the plan is for today so now in katakamas and so this is all the off-roading that i did in the last video and my plan for today is to go to trujillo uh, right here at the coast, but I can't ride here because this road just ends in jungle So I have to backtrack a little bit and then I can take this road all the way here to Trujillo so, It's a little bit blocked Ay, gracia. Hasta luego Alright there's some dark clouds. We might get some rain today. Yeah, it already starts raining. <laughs> so uh, I better get to the cave quick. But at least I'm uh, inside. You can see the rain cloud is just hanging over the mountains there. And obviously that's also where the cave is. Oh, they're building a, a bridge. Good idea. Easy peasy. Oh, even despite the rain, wow, it is beautiful here. Really lush and green. I'm running now in between the mountains. Someone here. Yeah, Cuevas de Talgua. There's nobody here. I'm not surprised, <laughs> to be honest. All right, so I'm now with Ramon, who is my guide. Um, you're not allowed to go into the cave alone, so you have to go with the guide. This is the Rio Talgua. This is the Rio Talga. Talgua. Talgua. Wow, what a beautiful place. So in 1994, they made a big discovery at this cave and they discovered 23 tombs which contained the, the remains of 200 bodies, 200 people. And until this day, nobody knows who they were. And they've dated these skeleton remains to be about 800 to 900 years before Christ so they're really old so they must be they must be from some indigenous group of people but we still don't know which one and at this moment in several laboratories and universities I think in Mexico the United States and Costa Rica they are investigating the remains so we're now entering the cave and they've actually gone up towards or into the mountain 10 hours and they still haven't found an exit so that means until this day where we just entered the cave is the only way in and out because the real exits they still haven't found bizarre
Ah, hay mucho agua, ¿no? Ah, sí. Uh. Aquí hay como una... Una cascada. Más, más o menos, más o menos. ¿no? Wow. Como una especie de cascada. Ahora sí. Ya. Ah, oh, wow, ya. Yeah. Y como es reducido, el sonido se hace más fuerte. Ya. Yeah. Sí, cuidado. Ya. Yeah. Ya, mire que la formación de las cuevas de talco es completamente natural. Ya. Yeah. Según los estudios científicos, es una formación que data aproximadamente de 2 millones de años. Y luego formar lo que son las conocidas estalactitas. Cuando estas pequeñas gotas caen en el piso de otra roca, lentamente se forman las estalagmitas. Sí. Que son todas las que crecen de manera invertida. Sí. You probably can't see it, but there's like this tiny little, or they look like spider, like spider web, but kind of tiny little strings going down, but yeah, it's kind of uh, a moth, I guess. Ah. Sí. Cada una de las estalactitas y estalagmitas puedan crecer un centímetro, tarda aproximadamente entre 50 y 100 años. So what's so special about the bone remains that they found here and the skulls that they found here is that they were kind of mummified or calcified, I don't even know if that's a word, but because of the conditions in the cave, the bones kind of turned into calcite and that's why they are preserved so extremely well. I've never heard of anything like that before. That's why they call this cave the, the cave of the glowing skulls. Because they're still researching these skulls and yeah. remains. Yes. <laughs> so be careful not to bump into uh, the stalactite. Well, the cave is now kind of opening up and it's becoming much higher and there was just another turn off as well and he just told me if you follow that way you can walk for another four hours and there's still no exit um, so yeah the, the entire cave system here is just huge look how big this is oh. it's fantastic yeah. Okay. Bueno, hacia allá las cuevas de Talgo tienen fin. Con cuidado. Man. Hacia allá tienen fin. Ah, ya. Yeah. Igual a la izquierda acá. Para donde también, donde sube, donde están los restos humanos, sí. únicamente son 300 metros a la inversa y ahí finalizan las cuevas de Talgo. Entonces, 12 metros arriba es donde eh, encontraron los restos humanos. Correcto, allí es donde se encuentran. Wow, we are deep in the cave now. Uh, so, this was the site where they found the, the remains that were all shiny and all calcified uh, but i mean we're deep into the cave so it's just unbelievable to imagine that yeah 900 years before christ there were people here that were oh, <laughs> it's a little slippery up here that were yeah i don't know burying their loved ones here or oh we have no idea but it's just Absolutely fascinating. So that was the cave. Pretty spectacular, I have to say. And just this whole area, I mean, look. Look where I am, it's beautiful, right? 
And what's also actually quite interesting is when we were walking on the way up here, suddenly on the other side of the river here, I see two horses, uh, two people on horses, and they're going down that way over there. And so I'm asking, uh, where are they going? And he says, there's a, a small village, 60 houses, which is down that way, and it is four hours walking. And there is no other way to reach that town. So people either walk or they go by horseback. But it's four hours. And yeah, the trail is tiny. I asked him, can I go in motorbike? He's like, no, it really is like a walking trail. Uh, it's not doable on a motorcycle. Um, and he said like, yeah, when women from that community, when they're pregnant about two weeks before their due date, they will go to town here just in case because yeah, if there's like a medical emergency or something, then they're four hours walking away from civilization, kind of. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Okay. Let's go. 248 kilometers to Trujillo. There's a, what is that? A closet. <laughs> Why not? So I'm still cutting across the mountains a little bit as you can see but the mountains here are not so not as high as close to uh, Kata, Katakamas You see those high mountains over there? So now I'm exactly on the other side so this morning I was in Katakamas on the other side exactly of these mountains so I think I cut across just over there I am getting closer to the coast you can see how lush and green it is here big change in vegetation and it's a lot more humid it's a lot more hot so I'm getting closer to the Caribbean side it is obvious Some palm, some palm tree plantations. Eh? Here, this should lead to the coast. Coast. Not really, is it? Let me see if I can let me see if I can pass here before I ride myself into some ditch. Oh Okay, could go here. But then oh uh, there's all swamp and river over there this is not really a road is it <laughs> okay find another way
lived in Trujillo and this place was one of the first places where the Spanish in their conquest came because the bay here is quite deep so that was perfect for the Spanish uh, merchant ships uh, this is the city center I think square anyway before I'm going to stay here tonight that's the plan at least but before I do so I'm first going to continue for about 11 kilometers uh, alongside the coast here to a small uh, fishing community called Santa Fe and that is a Garifuna village so I'm just gonna go there and see if I can have a lunch there the Garifuna people are quite well known for the amazing food that they make so that attracted my attention Santa Fe Ooh. Good chicken Hi um, You speak English or Spanish? Uh, Spanish, Spanish. Um, estoy buscando un lugar donde puedo comer algo típico garifuna. Sí, está bien. ¿Conoce un lugar? Ahí donde está el carro amarillo. Sí. Ahí hay un restaurante. Ay, aquí. gracias. So the, the people here speak their own language. They speak garifuna, which obviously I do not speak. But um, it makes sense that they, they also speak Spanish. So that's great for me. Drive in. Right, the music is a little bit loud here, but check out what I got for lunch. This fish is enormous. Look how big it is. <laughs> so that was really good, that fish. Um, I was hoping for I read about two different types of traditional meals, but I think both of them, they require like hours of preparation or cooking. They didn't have that at the moment. Let me go this way. But maybe uh, I will find another Garifuna community somewhere. Hi. <laughs> so the Garifuna people are Afro-Caribbean people and they are descendants from African slaves that uh, kind of ended up in uh, an island called St. Vincent um, which is an island uh, just off the coast uh, of Venezuela I'm not entirely sure how they ended up there I believe they were on their way to be brought to some plantation most likely to uh, to work and they ended up in uh, St. Vincent and from there so this was early 1600s and um, right now there are about 300,000 uh, Garifuna people and I believe about 100,000 of them are here in Honduras. So but maybe I'll come across some other Garifuna communities either here in Honduras, um, if not definitely, definitely in Belize. I am back uh, in Trujillo kind of. But um, I'm trying to cross this river, there's a small river here on the left. But I can't find a passing. <laughs> and now I've ended up on this little track. Maybe I'm 
riding in somebody's backyard. I have no idea. There are some people living here. As you can tell by the laundry. Oh. Dog. Ah, but this is much better. Oh, this is rough, eh? <laughs> well, at least I got little kids cheering me on. Yes, I finally found the crossing. Oh, that was a bit of a search. Postal, yes. Hostel. Perfect. Sí, estoy buscando habitación. Puede ser. So I found a place to stay for tonight. So that's really nice. Uh, my plan was to walk around town for a little bit but actually the day just got away from me it's too late now um, but that's fine and I'll just uh, go and do that in the next video so that was it for today I really hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video